Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video for the channel. We are working on the 6.5 today, as you saw in the title. I can't wait to show you the products we're using today. They are not sponsoring this video at all, so I'm going to give you my full opinion on it, what I think, and ease of use, and let's get into the video. guys so today we are using a dangerous material pour 15 metal prep which is a metal or metal etching rust neutralizer so this is if I don't know if it'll focus or not I have to, this is phosphoric acid and zinc phosphate so this is an acid so you need to be very careful when handling this and don't do what I did and spill it all over the place so what we are doing today is we're actually going to etch this entire frame. You can see it's got a lot of rust signs on it. I'm going to be hyperlapsing some of this, but I'm also going to be giving you guys my opinion on Pour 15 and how it's doing, and hopefully she does what I need her to do. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So for what you're going to need, this is not actually what um, this is in this bottle. This is Pour 15. You can see the fluid in there. And this here is water, and then we have our pour 15 bottle. So this pour 15 metal prep is the first step, or second step rather, in this like four step process or three step process. Basically this metal prep is supposed to be used after a degreaser, but this frame was not greasy so we are not going to be using the degreaser. However, we will be using the metal prep and the pour 15 rust preventative coating. So. Basically, since this frame was already rusty when we started, we do need to use the metal etching to strip the rust and neutralize anything that is left before the final layer goes on. And most of this video is going to be a hyperlapse video of me cleaning this frame and watching the transformation. However, this portion at the very beginning, we are going to be going over the metal prep and everything that it does for the frame. So I will be going over step by step what I'm doing and then I will get rid of the boring stuff and we'll just hyperlapse the rest of the video. Sound like a plan? Sweet. So, what we have here is a spray bottle because it says that we can apply using a spray. If you look here on the directions, it says we can apply with a brush, roller, spray, or dip rusted metal directly into the solution. So, we are gonna be using the spray idea here. And we're gonna set that there just for nice and pretty. And Using this bottle, we're going to lightly apply to the frame. I have a five gallon bucket down below to catch any excess because this stuff is reusable. And we are going to try to see what it does here. We're gonna try and create a nice straight line just to see what the difference is. So let's get to it. So what I'm gonna do now, since this has already been needle scaled and everything here has been prepped, no grease, no oil, and it's been blown off and wiped off with brake clean, we are going to just spray a little line right there. And so now what I'm gonna do is let this sit. We're gonna switch to a hyperlapse watching this work and we'll get back to it when we're ready for the next step. So in this video, you are gonna see me spray this a few times. This is because the environment that I'm working in is very dry and the acid is evaporating. So I need to keep the surface wet in order for the acid to do its job. And I'm not really doing anything else other than keeping the surface wet. All right guys, so we are now back here with this. It's been 20 minutes, which we're following the directions. We now need to soak with water. So we're going to remove our acid catching bucket and put our water catching bucket back and we are now going to thoroughly soak with water as specified in the instructions and we'll move the acid bucket out of the way so what I'm actually going to do is soak this down with water and I'm going to use a brush a cleaning brush to scrub this metal here just to make sure we get all of that acid 
off of this metal because we are using phosphoric acid which is not exactly safe for touch and or metal so for long periods of time so we've now scrubbed it we are going to clean this off I am going to dry this off with an air compressor and then we will see what this looks like okay so now that we have this cleaned up you guys can see here we are very very barren um, I do like this you can see right where the acid drooled and you can see before and after so far I'm rather impressed it will take some time though because you're supposed to wait 20 minutes in between intervals and it does take a little bit of labor to scrub off this frame so I'm sure if I let it sit longer this would look a little bit better but I've got a lot of truck to be doing here so we are going to go ahead and continue doing this. I'm going to switch to a hyperlapse. If you guys have any questions about Pour 15, do not forget to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer everything that you guys want to know. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Overall, I'm very impressed with this product. However, there are a few instructions on the back of the bottle that are not very clear. And one of those things that I have experienced that may not even be on the back of the bottle is, as you can see in this image here, the frame is yellowing and that is due to corrosion from the acid drying. Now, one way I've learned to prevent this is by blowing it off with compressed air. However, that is, seems to be the only real effective way of keeping the frame from corroding. You can see I'm wire brushing, that is because the frame decided it wanted to corrode. Now I know a lot of you are going to be commenting about water being on the frame and that's causing the corrosion. However, it does say to rinse off the water, or rinse off the acid rather, with water. So one thing that you do need to do after you rinse it off with water is blow it down with compressed air. Other than that, there's not much more to this product, and I am very impressed. 